Welcome back. So today I have all of the little baby Australian birds all done and ready to share them with you. And they are cute. So warning, super cute stuff. So uh, I won't show all of the, the fronts because we're gonna look at the actual pat or the actual product. You can always look back at the last video where we went through all of the kit materials and had a peek at all the what you get in them if you are interested in that. But just as a reminder, I'll just show one. Um, so it was the Australian collection by Leslie Suzanne Davies. Uh, and there were four in the series. In fact, they show all four here. And um, they are uh, designed and distributed in Australia. So uh, they are a regional pattern. You can order them uh, from Australia and have them shipped over. And uh, again, those details are in the previous video. I will link the store that I bought these online from. It's called Morrison Sons, but um, I go into a little bit more detail in uh, all of that in the previous video as well. So anyways, so as I said, there was four birds in this series and I got this series as what I had hoped would be a compliment to the previous one, which um, I'm pretty certain were two different series. Uh, the previous babies had two birds and two little baby animals and they looked different and they weren't by uh, Leslie Suzanne Davies but I think that she designed these four little birds to go with those um, that previous series at least I think I might pull out um, some some of the others from the previous one and hold them close so you can see and uh, let me know if you think that they kind of look pretty similar so anyways but let's look at these ones let's look at all the little done babies so I just showed you the uh, front for the blue wren and uh, so let me show you that one to start with I and I just finished this one actually this was the last one I did so it's super cute look at them they are the sweetest little babies just chilling out together and uh, then I have they're actually kind of working backwards in exactly the order I did them in uh, this is the crimson rosella it's a beautiful baby those reds and the blue oh so pretty I really liked working on this one. Um, this one probably went the fastest for me of all of them. I don't know if I was just really into it or I don't I don't know. This one seemed to go the fastest. I enjoyed working on that one a lot. And then we have, which I don't know how the first series didn't have this bird in it, but here we are. At least we've got it now. The kookaburra. And it is just the fluffiest, sweetest thing. I will say, of all of them, this one was the most difficult. This one felt like it took forever. There's just so many color changes in w when you're working through it. And um, yeah, this one, this one took a long time for me. It felt comparatively to the size of the the product and the pattern. So yeah, kookaburra. Again, how did this not make the first set? I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, and then this was the first one that I started with because there was just so much color and I was just so excited to get stuck into it. The Rainbow Lorikeets. And they are just so snuggly. They seem like they're little love birds. But the colors on this are so pretty. I adore this one. I think it turned out so nice. So those are the four. Um, I, I will say for the most part, the patterns were pretty 
easy. Like I say, the kookaburra was probably the hardest one of them only because there was just so many colors and so much detail in the coloring. So um, I think because it's just grays and browns maybe, uh, it was really easy to lose where you were and keep track of everything. But uh, even that didn't, you know, it wasn't, when I say it felt like it took forever, it, where the others took me, you know, a week-ish, give or take, you know, three or four days, that one probably took me like two weeks. Um, and again, it could have just been partly my time that I had to contribute to it as well. Um, so the one thing that I want to point out about these patterns, or these specific kits, that was actually really, really nice. So I'm going to hold this up fairly close. So the front of this, the picture they took is pretty close, so you can actually see the stitches and the outlining and exactly how they did it. So if you have any question at all on the pattern about what it is you need to do or you should be doing or where you should be, it was really easy to turn this over and look at the exact stitching of the model. I found that so helpful, especially with some of the outlining because you know, the outlining, it'll say, like, the left wren's head feathers. Well, you know, you think that's pretty obvious. You know, just the head. But then you're like, okay, so, but what am I doing these colors? And, you know, you can kind of verify that you're understanding the instruction as they mean them uh, with the front. I found that really, really nice with these patterns. As for the previous little babies, now I haven't ironed these out since I've finished them, but um, just to go back through them really quickly, we had the cockatoo and the koala. the gala, which we did together, I think, not that long ago actually, so if you want to check out the videos of that one, uh, I think it's not too far back, and the possum, which I think we also did this one together a little while ago. So, um, just in taking, say, a bird, one, and another bird, and from each of the series, like I think they're similar enough that they work. I think these these guys are a little bigger maybe, and these guys have, of course, the, the uh, flora um, with them as well. But I'm hoping that when you get them all framed and together, I can frame them all as kind of a complete set. Um, the gala to me seems about the same size. So it could just be that one is a little small. And then just to share with you kind of the plan, the overall plan. Um, now it won't be in here so you can see it. I'm doing it somewhere else in the house, but um, I'll show you the frame that I got that I'm putting them in. The whole set and how I'm, you know, what kind of, it's not going to be perfect here, but you'll get the idea, I think. Um, so I got these little honey, or like octagon frames, and the, the back just has this elastic, and so you frame them in the hoop, and then the elastic holds the hoop in. You, you can hang them by with a string or with a nail or however you want. There's really good instructions that come with this. Uh, but yeah, so I got eight of these and my hope is to uh, hang them so they're kind of honeycombed. So, you know, you might go something like this and another one here, you know, you get the idea. So I'm hoping that by doing it that way, so they're not like right next to each other, very rigid squares or anything like that, that 
you won't notice that they're different series, that they, they'll be similar enough that they'll um, kind of all blend together and look like a cohesive group. It's my hope. So, um, but I'll also link these frames that I found on Etsy. You can get them uh, in the octagon. I think they had a circle, maybe a square. I don't remember, but um, I thought it was really clever the way that she's designed them with this elastic and makes it so much easier to do. So that's my next job is to finish these off, get them all ironed in the hoops, sorted out so I can hang them up. Uh, so that's kind of why I ended up uh, focusing on these and wanting to get them done so that I could um, finish up and get them framed up. So. These are, these are our babies. We're all done with the babies now. Anyways, that is my update for today. I hope everyone is doing well and thanks for stopping by and checking in on our little babies and I will see you next time.